Okay. Good morning, everybody. That's a spoon you can hear. Today's a big day for a certain subsect of the Nintendo community, the Lego community. It's a big day, big day. Mm, not so much for the rest of us. Um, obviously, today was the day we revealed Lego and Nintendo's newest collaboration of Animal Crossing. We're very excited for them. It's a big win for the, uh, the Animal Crossing fans. However, if you've been following this channel or you have any idea around here, we're not... We're not all in on the Animal Crossing. We are. We're more of a, a Zelda people here, um, which is which is cool. You know that that's important too. Um, but what you may not have realised is this sort of reveals their their marketing plan for the Lego Nintendo collaboration. Oh, let me just open this. As you can tell, this is an unscripted look. Where today we're going to be taking a very biased but also balanced look at the newest reveals, in a sense, to do with this, as well as what it means for Lego Zelda. And you read the title. Yes, I know it's taken me a minute and the retention has probably already followed, but this is a therapy session. And we are going to be discussing all of the ways that this basically means we're never getting started play sets. And um, I'm a pessimist, so this is my natural bias, uh, is to be negative. However, I truly do believe this, and I would very much love to be proven wrong. Lego, Nintendo, please, please prove me wrong, uh, and, and make play sets, that would be great. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to sit here, I'm going to cozy on up with my ice cream in the bed, and I am going to talk to you guys about the pros, the cons, and a couple of comments from some friends as well. And, um, we're sort of unwrapping this together. So, uh, stick with me uh, for Octane Thermal Plastic. Ice cream therapy session number one. Hopefully the first and last time I have to get cookie dough out. Okay, let's start with what's going on. Now, if I go into my notes, see a very professional here. It's good ice cream. Okay. Yeah, welcome on into the weekly chaos. So, we've known that this is happening for a while now. I made a video of it earlier this year. When it was leaked, because we thought it might be Zelda. Or was it a community post? I don't remember. Anyway, we've talked about this before. And the thing is, this is this is great, really, for, for LEGO's future. This is only uh, bad for a couple of niche people. It's great for LEGO's future. We've always said that they need to stay relevant with kids, and that's getting harder with iPads and digital distractions. So getting into games and making licenses of stuff like Sonic and Mario and now Animal Crossing, this is fantastic for their business and keeping them relevant, which is always what we love to see in LEGO fan first. So positive numbers on the business charge, all I want, but um, this is not any good for that. This is good for Nintendo because if I'm speaking blandly, they spent longer than five seconds thinking about well, not Mario, which is great because we got Mario Kart, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mario Party, Mario Games, 2D Mario, Mario Movie, Mario Theme Park, Mario Everything. And obviously, it makes sense. He's their biggest earner, but to spend more than five seconds not thinking about Mario is pretty impressive for them. And I know it's an exaggeration. All right. Mm, but it's good for Animal Crossing fans too. I'm so pleased for them. They get to have the thing that they like turned into a cool product. It would be a shame if everyone could have that, you know? Go keep this thing from spreading around. Um, also, I should acknowledge that Animal Crossing is the second biggest game on the Switch. Um, which makes sense that it is the second LEGO license. But the biggest game on the Switch is Mario Kart, and we haven't seen a single set for that. But um, it is technically the big second biggest game on the Switch, so I can see why it seems on paper like, oh, this is the logical choice. Not their second biggest franchise, though, and New Horizons certainly had a boost from COVID, so take that what you will. Um, similarly, Animal Crossing was rejected on LEGO Ideas multiple times. Which is um, which is important because ideas are a really big part of the Link Lego Nintendo storyline, and the idea that's rejected and now they've made sets of it, while scummy for the ideas designers, just shows that they're listening to the demand and that they saw it, acted on it, and now look, we have a theme. Also, the last good thing, it looks really cute. <laughs> and done a good job. You know, figures look great, and the trees look. All right, a little juniorized for my tastes, which leads into some of my my um, my qualms. But let's get into the bad stuff, the stuff you're really here for. I'm going to put the ice cream pot down. 
I promise, really soon. Um, okay, so in order to talk about it, you've got to know a little bit about me. I'm a Lego fan, I'm a Nintendo fan. I spent 12 years waiting for Lego Zelda, which makes me slightly grumpy. I've also had a bad day, so um, I'm probably overreacting slightly. If I was being completely unbiased, I wouldn't be making this video. Um, I'm known for saying that I think both companies make dumb choices sometimes. And a perfect match for a partnership because they both avoid money. Some of the time. They're both greedy sometimes. I'm also Nintendo in that one. I'm also a pessimist, like I mentioned. However, everything I say today, I'd really like to be wrong. Now, let's get on to the cons then. Uh, the fact that we now have Animal Crossing and Mario, two games that skew very low on the RSOP, sevens or threes most of the time, um, shows how LEGO and Nintendo, specifically Nintendo, want to treat uh, LEGO as a merchandising opportunity for their younger and more age-appropriate franchises for everyone. You're definitely going to see a skew to kids. This is apparent across all of Nintendo's merchandising. You see way more merch for, ow, this pot's cold, um, for Mario, because he's aimed at six-year-olds and four-year-olds love him, as well as Animal Crossing, and you see less merch for stuff like uh, Zelda and Splatoon. Specifically, Zelda is also treated as prestige, uh, not, the, not just for teenagers, but for everyone. It's just golden standard, which is why we most of the merch we see uh, is stuff like first four figure statues in the adult price range of £100 plus, uh, Amiibos, it's one of the few uh, series, um, continu continuing with Splatoon and Smash Bros, which still receive regular Amiibo updates. Um, is it a coincidence that all three of those are rated 12 or seen as they're more uh, older or teen franchises? I don't think so. Um, um, and then that, all of course, results into just the fact that Nintendo doesn't really merchandise Zelda particularly. I mean, if you look on the, the web pages, we've talked about this before as well. Uh, there's significantly less on there for Zelda uh, than, say, Mario, which just shows how they personally believe, which is incorrect, I'd love to buy more merch, um, the, the people uh, that buy Zelda games are um, more adultish or um, more interested in only high-end high, high -end items, which is, which is so much fun and so accurate. Can the construction workers please shush outside the window? Thank you. Um, we should also talk about the fact that Zelda and Splatoon are both banned on ideas, Animal Crossing wasn't, at least at the time of the leaks. Which is curious, because we assumed that the ban on ideas meant that they were happening. That Zelda and Splatoon were being fast-tracked and they were being banned on ideas because the sets were coming. This is clearly not the case. <laughs> um, at least not in the direct sense, uh, or ideas is just more broken than we thought. Um, so the curious thing is, we now have to reconsider the Zelda ban on ideas in a new light. Could it be that instead of being because sets are coming, it's because Nintendo's actually went, mm, no, this is never happening, therefore you can take it off there. They specifically said that they don't want sets made off it. Now, we know this isn't true in the fullest sense because the 18 plus Deku tree leak, but nothing submit to ideas was like an 18 plus Deku tree. It'd be easier to blanket ban the idea of play sets or fan submissions so that Nintendo could let Lego do what they want and then uh, ban anything to do with minifigures or play set scale stuff or kids. Um, selfish point from me, um, Nintendo doesn't seem to care about Zelda, like, half the time. No, they care about the games and the money, but what happened to our anniversary? Where was that, you know? We'll see how they approach the 40th in comparison to Mario, and then we'll make a final judgement on that point. But some of the time, they really don't care. The biggest point I want to get across today is that Nintendo's attitude and view of their relationship with LEGO seems very backwards. In the last couple of years, LEGO has consistently proved its uh, adult market, and across the Mario sets, they must have seen some astonishing sales. And yet Nintendo appears to still view it as a thing for babies, because the only licenses they're letting them work with are the ones for four-year-olds. Okay, I'm being harsh. They're all for everyone, but this is what happens when you have a family company. They're, they're picking the younger skewed ones because that's the ones they know they can market and sell to kids. Which, to be honest, is a little sinister when you think about it, because they are the most impressional and they are the ones they're deliberately targeting with their toys. I mean, that's the whole toy industry, but that's besides the point. Whereas they're not letting them touch the ones that they don't want to have the image of ruined uh, and be seen as maybe for babies or so. There's a reason that some people think that every Mario character is a toddler. Because he's made for toddlers. Uh, similarly to this... Um, which is really ironic, coming from the company that made Toon Link, but then again, where's Toon Link on any marketing? Exactly, Zelda is for serious people. Mm. At least that's how I believe they view it. Secondary cons. 
the fact that it took this long for them to do Animal Crossing after Mario potentially means that even if Zero License is happening, development has not even started. And there's a good chance that given that this is coming out next year, in order to not cannibalize its release, we wouldn't even see a Deku Tree until 2025. Remember, those product leaks were not finalized. It wasn't a guarantee that it will happen. Now, I do believe that the Deku Tree is still happening. I believe that that is what we're getting. I'd like to propose an 18 plus only scenario where all we ever see from the Lego Zelda crossover is 18 plus sets. Um, a big problem with this, of course, is uh, they're not affordable. Believe it or not, Nintendo, a large proportion of your audience are kids. <gasps> Gasp. I know, mm, seven, ten, or I've met even more than that. Nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds that play Zelda. It's a huge part of their audience. And believe it or not, they are still part of the Lego demographic. The kid demographic, too, not the adults. So, it'd be very sad if we live in a world there is no affordable link for them. Uh, also, there's no range. Um, you can only really release a certain amount of 18 plus sets based off an untested license a year. Uh, the range is one, one set a year, and two if we're lucky. That would never happen before. Um, and there'd be no range, and you'd be limited to nostalgia bait only, meaning that um, we would just never see anything cool, really. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. Big display pieces are cool and all, but we'd never see any particularly amazing play features. We'd see no range in minifigures, no range in games, no range in characters, and we'd be limited to only the iconic locations. Yeah, Deku Tree, the castle, and Temple of Time, and so on. And these are all great and all whatever, but it's just not going to show what the, the Lego Zelda uh, relationship really could be and where the games and, and its Lego crossover is at its best. Uh, watch my other video if you actually want to know why. I'm not doing that here. Um, I also want to point out that although we don't talk about them, there are plenty of Lego Zelda submissions uh, that don't reach 10k on items. And guess who makes most of those? Seven-year-olds in LDD, and they look bad. But the point is, seven-year-olds are involved in this. Seven-year-olds want these sets. Hmm. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Okay, let's read some comments. And we'll show some friends on the Harley and Bricks Discord server. And I have some comments to say. So, hopefully these are on your screen, if I can be able to edit. But if not, from Brook Wizard Studios. I'd be just be very disappointed if Lego Zelda wouldn't be the main focus or even cancelled or frozen for the next time, but I can't make any predictions. Hmm. Interesting point. I'm very disappointed. Now, I promise these are unbiased. I didn't, like, influence these people. These are just independent people that also have invested interest in Lego and Zelda and um, what they thought of the Animal Crossing things. Um, yeah. Here brings up a balanced point of who's willing to wait uh, and see what happens. But next time, if it's not the focus, if it's not the third license we get, oh yeah, then it's never happening, is it? Clearly, if there's something else comes next, what even could come next? We've already done Donkey Kong, I, there's nothing left. Oh, it hurts me. He also went on to say, I think the chances to get at least a short wave of play sets have significantly gotten worse. I don't even think that Lego realizes how many people are actually willing to buy such sets beginning with kids who had their fun with the newer titles to adults who really wanted to set for their nostalgic franchise, not even talking about 18 plus sets, like a Hylian Shield or a Master Sword. However, when you asked me about the Deku Tree, it's a different issue. Due to the fact that we were able to see him as the only Lego set in the leak, I think he was indeed planned to be a special set, separated from any wave. That means, for me, there is still quite likely that we will see him in the future. Two points to agree with there. I do also agree, we will see the Deku Tree in the future. I think it's a successful 18 plus product that has a lot of nostalgic pull, a lot of desire, and meets Nintendo's seeming requirements. Um, as you agree with at the top, the chances uh, of a short wave of play sets definitely have gotten worse. However, you blame that on the Lego. I blame that on Nintendo. I think Lego knows exactly what the kids want. I think Lego has shown us multiple times they definitely get what's going on. Okay, they made some bad decisions with AI, but specifically with kids and Mario. Um, and kids in the Nintendo relationship. No, there's no way that no one at LEGO has suggested this Nintendo. I truly do believe that it's Nintendo that doesn't want the Zelda to be associated with kids. Next question from the Pixel Bricks. Uh, I think the Deku Tree set will happen. Not sure about play sets. I find it hard to believe that they would make new molds for a set just to abandon it. And this is true. Uh, in the leaked image, we cannot tell if there were any new molds or whether they were prototypes, meaning that we can't really assume 
uh, that the molds were actually finished, the 30,000 30, investment. However, the design work and the principal work was also done. Products are scrapped all the time, specifically products with new molds and recolors. Uh, just look at Aquanauts back in the 90s, bad example, it was 30 years ago. Um, but yeah, I think again, there's a likelihood that the Deku tree and those molds will still make it into production. And I also do think that it's likely that those molds will get reused again in a second 18 plus set with almost identical figures. But um, but you're right. I agree, the Deku tree will happen. Play sets, we'll wait and see. I'm voting no, but that, that's fair enough. From the Goron Enthusiast, I think the Deku tree will be released. Uh, but past that, especially after seeing the Animal Crossing stuff, I really don't think we'll be getting play sets. Don't get me wrong, I obviously want them, but I think Nintendo really doesn't understand how many adults spend hundreds on LEGO every year. I'm one of those people. I mean, look what they did with Mario. I feel it just goes to show they don't understand how much of a gold mine LEGO would be for them. Yep, um, we see this attitude all the time with Nintendo and their various views and refusal to do modern things, their ignorance towards streaming and how people would actually really like to own their music. I think this makes a lot of sense. I just add it to the pile. Nintendo doesn't get it. Um, I do think, though, that after seeing stuff like the Matty Bowls and the NES, they are fine with adult sets. However, I don't think they get that adults also want kid-themed things uh, and that nostalgic pull and the return to childhood is also a very powerful uh, sort of force here. Um, so I think it's it's a mix of what you're saying is true and, and then slight changes on it. Um, yes, uh, they know that adults buy adult sets, but they don't think that adults buy kids sets and they don't think that kids are interested in Zelda. So a uh, combination of that there, good. And then lastly, uh, from the Hylian Bricks, uh, big name, of course. Happy for the Animal Crossing fans, of course, but then again, with the way they promote Zelda and don't acknowledge the anniversary, it proves more that this will be a one-time thing. Yeah, we've been in agreement for some time. We really do think that this is definitely the end of the playset dream. Interesting there, he also mentions the way they promote Zelda and don't acknowledge the anniversary. They promote Zelda in a very serious way compared to Mario. Um, very, very true. Uh, I asked him as well uh, if he thought about uh, what sets will happen. Uh, he said, uh, I believe sets will happen as an adult's welcome only. Fair enough. Yeah, um, I think we're in agreement there. Okay, that wraps up our comment section. Let's wrap all of this together. So what now? Uh, as to conclude, I believe the Deku Tree and probably a follow-up set, also of 18 plus design, I mean, let's be real, it's probably the castle, um, will happen because the Deku Tree was so, so well. And then this goes one of two ways, right? Either they see how popular it is and they do a wave just like they did for Sonic. To be honest, it seems pretty unlikely. Um, I feel like there's enough strong connection between the two brands and enough trust of the IP just to make the wave outright. Or the other option, that this truly is game over and before we even got to play the game. It's a rough world to think of. Two 18 plus sets and only probably six figures between them. That would be the worst timeline, well, the second worst timeline. The worst timeline is when this never happened at all. But well, there's the worst timeline to live in, um, pretty much, when it comes to Lego and Zelda. Um, but regardless of what your thoughts are, really, it's really, really hard to be on a journey like this. It, it really, really is. Um, it's nothing, of course, right? Two massive companies trying to make some money off their IP. But both Lego and Zelda are special to me, and they're special to a lot of you out there. And um, now Lego Zelda or Lelda and this channel is a special part of my life too and it takes up huge amounts of my time. So yeah, it's pathetic and small, niche and nerdy, but it's important to me. And one day I hope I will get my moment of satisfaction. But for now, I guess it just seems so pathetic to make this. But... I'm not going to think about that now, and I'd like you guys to think balancedly and about my response in a balanced light as well. I hope you enjoyed the, the sort of parody element of this as well. Uh, but for now, it's off to finish that comfort food in bed, and off to touch some grass. See you next Friday with the next custom set for Tears of the Kingdom, because if they won't do it, I'll sure finish my nine waves. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.